The Department of Defense is cracking down on the number of people who have access to classified information. These changes come after a number of documents were leaked in an internet chat room earlier this year by a low-level member of a state's National Guard. I know you'll remember this story. Our own Tom Dempsey is live in Washington this morning with more on these changes. Hey, Tom. Hey, good morning, Marky. Yeah, this morning, staff at the Pentagon say they're going to be tightening up security measures for who has access to classified documents. Of course, this all comes as a 21-year-old Massachusetts Air National Guardsman sits behind bars for sharing military secrets on a chat that's popular with video gamers. Earlier this year, 21-year-old Massachusetts Air National Guardsman Jack Teixeira was arrested by police after he allegedly leaked sensitive military documents inside a chat room on Discord, which can be a hangout for video gamers. Those documents included information about aid to Ukraine, but also uh, battlefield positions, as well as how the U.S. gathers intelligence on allies. Now the Department of Defense, uh, you know, ordered a review of procedures in the wake of that case, saying Teixeira had access to information that he did not need to know. The review said the department does not have widespread issues of keeping secrets safe, but it called for a number of key changes, including creating roles for top secret control officers, as well as starting a new office for insider threats and organizing a system that tracks in real time who has access to top secret work areas. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin signed off on these recommendations. The Pentagon Review also found, quote, the overwhelming majority of DOD personnel with access to classified national security information comply with security policies, processes and procedures and recognize the importance of information security in maintaining our national security. The Massachusetts Air National Guardman has pleaded not guilty to the uh, multiple charges against him, but if he is found guilty, he faces the possibility of decades behind bars. Guys. Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.